lockdown crafting. So I did say yesterday when I jumped on that I would do a bit of crafting every day with you just to hang out with my crafty peeps and get through this seven day lockdown. And hopefully it's only going to be a seven day lockdown, but you never know what can happen. Um, a seven day lockdown could end up turning into a seven week lockdown. So uh, when you jump on, please say hello, let me know where you're watching from. So in case this is the first time that you've ever watched me, my name is Donna Gray and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales. Australia. So um, if you don't know what Stampin' Up! is, Stampin' Up! Uh, we sell all types of crafting products. So anything from cardstock, stamps, inks, dyes, ribbons, embellishments, absolutely um, most things that you would need for your crafting habits. So hello, I can see a couple of you jumping on. So I decided that I'm going to do a regular, um, during the seven day lockdown, I'm going to do a regular live video each day. Um, I'm not going to do too much in each live video, but just to hang out with my crafty peeps and have a bit of a chat and check on you all that you're all doing okay. So hello, I can see I've got um, Roz, I've got Donna, I've got Wendy. Oh, hey, Wendy, I haven't seen you for a while. Um, Deborah, Lynn, Glenda, Matthew, Robin, Maswari, hello, how are you? So, um, welcome everybody, and please feel free to share this back onto your social media site so other people on your friends list may be able to have a bit of fun with this crafting session. So, what I decided to do today was to use um, some of the celebration items. So, during the month of August and September, we have celebration, which means for every ninety dollars you spend, you can earn a free item, or for every hundred and eighty dollars you spend, you can earn either two level one items or one level two item. So I decided to play with the delicate dahlias this morning um, and I'm just casing out of the catalogue and just to hang out and spend a bit of time with my crafty friends. So, um, so enjoy this crafty session. So the other thing I wanted to say is if you're watching and you absolutely love Stampin' Up! products, now is the time to buy and now is the time to join also. So we have an awesome joining special starting well, it started on the 3rd of August. So it runs through the August and September, ends on the 30th of September. Uh, you get to choose $235 worth of product and you only pay $169. And you get to choose a free bundle as well. And the bundles are um, noted in our celebration catalog and I would be more than happy to help you out if you wanted to know what those bundles are and then you enjoy an ongoing discount until um, at least the end of January you're guaranteed a discount until at least the end of January um, and all going well if you actually make the quarterly amounts you will stay with us for longer but you get to be a part of a crafty community uh, we have our Wild Heart Crafters team we're all over Australia you don't have to sell you don't have to demonstrate you can buy join wholly and solely just to buy products for yourself but also if you wanted to um, maybe make a little bit of a hobby business out of it um, then I can give you free business training which all of my team get access to free business training uh, showing you how to build a foundation to a business so um, so let's get on to crafting because I know that's what you're all here for so um, I'll pop my camera down onto my desk and we will get to crafting. So you will see there um, my monthly host code and my website. So please, um, you can see there my website. So please make sure if you wanted to purchase any of these items that you jump on over to my website and place an order with my me through my online store. Please make sure you use the monthly host code. You can see down there in the bottom just um, here in the bottom right there, you can see F-T-M-J-F-U-M-F. That is my monthly host code for any orders under the um, price of $250 before postage. So please make sure you add that host code at checkout because that allows me to um, get free products to give away. And I know I haven't given away products for a while. Um, and I will get into that on my regular YouTube live on... Um, Sunday on the weekends. So sometimes it's a Saturday, sometimes it's a Sunday. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Welcome, everybody. I can see a few of you jumping on now. So let's play with the delicate dahlias. And I'm just going to um, to case a couple of cards out of the catalogue using the gorgeous delicate dahlias. So the first one that I'm going to case is 
using, um, I'm going to use Bumblebee. I'm not sure whether it is actually Bumblebee or whether it's actually um, um, oh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> um, anyway, the name has escaped me. Am I sick? Crush Curry. That was the name I was trying to think of. Wow. Sometimes when you go live, the old um, names of colors and things escape you. All right, so we've got that. Now, we're actually going to pair it up. So this is the Delicate Dahlia stamp set. Now, this you can earn with a $180 order. This is a level two item. So um, so you have to actually purchase $180. Um, and then once you've purchased $180, you can get this stamp set for free. It's a gorgeous stamp set. So it's got lined images that we can do um, some coloring with. And it's also got this beautiful, gorgeous, detailed image as well. So I'm going to pair it up with... This is an oldie but a goodie. I absolutely love this uh, stamp set and it's got dies that match called Positive Thoughts, but we're actually going to use the Nature's Thoughts dies out of this. And it's got this gorgeous die, which is a rectangle die, and it's got stitching all the way around it. So we're just going to grab a piece of basic white cardstock and we're going to run that through the die cutting machine first of all so that we can get that. So I'll just grab my cut and emboss and bring that in. And yes, you'll see that I am using my magnetic plate, but I love using my magnetic plate. So um, I do apologize. I've gone back to using my magnetic plate because I like it so much. So um, that was our magnetic plate that we had when we had our... Um, I'm going to do it that way but I'm okay so now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle like that now the reason why I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle I've still got to be able to fit it through the die cutting machine so that we don't get a definite speed hump so I'm going to do that so we don't get a definite speed hump when we go through our die cutting machine because when you get that speed hump that actually jumps your rollers and it's not good for your machine Okay, and you did hear a bit of a clunk there, but it's not as bad as what it would be if it was straight on. So we've got that. Okay, and there's another couple of dies that we're going to use, but we'll get into that later on. I'll bring that die cutting machine back in later. So um, if you have not got a die cutting machine, then um, if you wanted to place it into a starter kit, order you could order um the cut and emboss it's 209 dollars. so you get to choose 235 dollars worth of product so you can get a cut and emboss and a couple of other things and add it to your starter kit and you get it freight free which is awesome so we've got that and we've got that now we're going to take this gorgeous small flower stamp now brand new haven't used it so this is my first um go at using this gorgeous stamp so we're going to take that cute little flower now one of the main things with um any of these really distinctive stamp sets is that you need to make sure you push your ink all right down into um into your ink pad when, before you go to ink them up now i'm going to grab the leaves i think i need as well Although it's got like two little leaves. Oh, okay. They're doing that with the little tiny leaves. Okay, so let's just grab the two, the little tiny leaf. So it's not those leaves. But we could change it up a little bit, but we'll try and do it similar to what's in the catalogue. And of course, my little blocks go right down to the bottom of my um of my drawer there. Okay, so we've got that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to stamp on this um, with, it looks like, um, I'm guessing here, petal pink. Looks like petal pink. And bumblebee. Bumblebee or not? I did have the recipe out for it, but, you know, we'll just go with the flow. And I think Misty Moonlight. I think I'm going to do bumblebee and Misty Moonlight. Let's try those colours. All right. So I'm going to, as I said, massage the ink in my ink pads. I'm just going to grab a paper towel so I can clean my – OK, 
Okay, so I'm just going to, with my petal pink, I'm just going to massage the ink down like that, okay? Because how our ink pads are designed is when we store them, they store upside down and they bring all the ink to the top of our ink pads. So one of the things when you're using these distinctive stamp sets is to make sure that you haven't got a massive amount of ink on your stamp. Okay, so I'm just going to ink one of those flowers and I'm going to pop one up here. And I'm using my pierce mat because, oops, and that didn't stamp properly. Can I get it over the top? Ah, it will do. Um, I could turn it over, but then the stitching will be on the wrong side. But it's okay. We're just going to go with the flow. I got a bit sidetracked because I've just had a delivery arrive on my front doorstep. So I'm going to do the same thing with my bumblebee ink pad. I'm going to massage the ink down into the bottom of the ink pad. Okay. So just using, you could use the back of a spoon, you can use a bone folder. It's totally up to you. It will stain your bone folder. So please be aware that it will do that if you use your bone folder. So I'm going to ink up that bumblebee and I'm going to stamp one flower just there. Ooh, that's gorgeous. One flower just there and another flower just down there. How beautiful are these flowers? Um, Patricia says that it is the first time you've heard of this. Um, thank you. You will try this on your distinctive stamps. I am telling you, Patricia, you will get more perfect stamps every time you do that. Um, but definitely, yes, massage your ink down onto the bottom of your ink pad. All right, so we're going to go through now, and this one's going to make a bit of a mess of my bone folder, but that's okay. We're going to massage our misty moonlight ink down. Okay. And we're going to grab that cute little leaf stamp. I'm going to stamp some leaves around. So we're going to go a couple of leaves up in through here. So one there and one there. Oh, this stamp is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The detail, it's probably a little bit hard to see in the video, but wow, the detail is fantastic. You all have to get this stamp. I'm just saying. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Okay, so like that. And another little one down here like this. Okay, so there we have it. Um, so Karen's saying, are you massaging because it's the first time you've used the ink pad? No, I'm massaging. So you may have missed that, Karen. I'm massaging the ink down into the bottom so that it's a distinctive stamp set. So because these stamps have so much detail in them, um, if your ink pad is too juicy, and even if it's an older ink pad and it's still quite juicy, because our ink pads are designed that they store upside down. Um, yeah, if I use alcohol in my bone folder, it will clean it. Um, so if you if you use our ink pads, they store upside down, so they make the ink all run to the top of our ink pad. Um, so it's just massaging the ink back down into the bottom so that you've got a lighter covering of ink but you get a much better distinctive stamp if you do that so that's why you massage it not because it's the first time I've used the ink pad but just for the simple fact of getting that nice um or gorgeous stamped image all right so um I'm then going to do um okay so I need a little I'm going to do the sentiment then sending you um heartfelt sympathy so this is a sympathy card although I'm actually going to turn it into a thank you kindly card because um I need some thank you cards so I'm just going to change up the sentiment on it so that um it's going to do what I need it to do all right so we're going to grab a scrap piece of our white and in our misty moonlight we're going to ink that up so thank you kindly. Actually, I'm going to do it on one of these scraps because I know it will fit. Thank you kindly. Okay, 
So we've got that and that. Okay, so now there's um, a little bit of die cutting here as well. I'm just trying to see what the ribbon is that they've put under there. Is it ribbon? I'm actually not quite sure what they've put underneath there. But um, I'm going to probably use, now I don't know whether this is retired. Someone can scream out and tell me whether this is retired ribbon. I actually feel like it is <laughs> the um, denim ribbon, but I'm actually going to use it. I don't know whether it's retired or not, but I'm actually going to use it as the backing ribbon in behind because I've got it here and I can. So if I'm using retired product, I'm terribly sorry if I am. I'm just going to close those ink pads so I don't get ink all over me. And I've also got to do a couple of die cuts. So I need to do some die cuts in our bumblebee colour. Okay, so in these gorgeous Positive Thoughts dies, we have some other little bits and pieces. So we have this piece here, which I need to clean because I haven't, haven't cleaned it from last time, and this gorgeous die here. So we're going to use those. Okay. So I'm just going to poke some of those little bits and pieces out because I've been naughty and haven't cleaned out my dye from the last time I used it, but there we go. All right, so we're going to do that in Cinnamon Cider and Bumblebee. I'm just going to grab my Bumblebee and my Cinnamon Cider. And I'm just going to grab a couple of little... Um, scraps of these to be able to use okay and I'm probably going to use my mini button emboss because I can and it's only a couple of little things so we may as well use the mini to do this so we have that we have our cutting pads so with the mini you have your number one cutting pad you'll have a number two and i'm just going to pop that bumblebee one through first so that and that the little mini is gorgeous um the name of the die i'm using are the nature's thoughts dies so the nature's thoughts dies <laughs> Fran. <laughs> so Fran's telling me that um, the denim ribbon is retired. I thought it was, but I had some. The Positive Thoughts stamp set and the Nature's Thoughts dies. Um, so they're still available to purchase. They're in our annual catalogue. Okay, so we have that cute piece there. Okay, we have that cute piece there. So that one there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a couple of these out of cinnamon cider. So a couple of little leafy pieces out of cinnamon cider. We need two of those. Yeah, so don't judge me for using retired things. But, you know, it's sitting there and I thought I may as well use it. I very rarely ever use retired products in my videos, but it's there because I've got a couple of couple of um, spools of it. Okay, so we've got two of those cute little leaves. That there. I'm really excited to see what parsley is out. Because it could be to do with our um, Leaders Business Summit that we have coming up this month. When you're a leader in the company, you actually get special little gifts when you attend our business conference. And I actually feel like that's what it is. Everyone was excited because we got an email the other day saying that we were going to get something in the post. So... Lord knows. So on the back of this, I actually want to use the gorgeous large dahlia stamp because I feel like 
we could add a little bit of interest in the background. I'm not sure whether, I think they have actually done that, but it's a bit hard to see in the picture that I'm looking at. So I'm going to grab the large dahlia. We're going to use the bumblebee again. And this is just some tone on tone stamping. I need to grab a scrap piece of paper to have in behind here. Might just use that. Okay, and I need to use my pierce mat. All right, so I'm just going to, um, I could probably have used a larger. Um, are you ready? Look, isn't that just gorgeous? How beautiful is this flower? Ah, stunning. And I just mucked that up, but that's okay. I didn't ink it all up. Ah, I'm going to hold this up to the camera because you need to see the detail in this stamp. It is stunning. Can you see all that detail? Look at it. And that's all done with the stamp. We don't have to do anything. Um, why did I use the pierce mat? The pierce mat, because these are clear photopolymer stamps, there's no cushioning, no give in um, the actual stamp. So to get a really nice, clear, concise stamped image, um, you should always use a little bit of padding. So just our stamp and pierce mat that we have, um, I just use that as padding underneath and it just gives you a really, really nice um, crisp stamped image. So whenever you're having trouble with stamping, always use a pierce mat underneath. Our red rubber stamp, so, okay, so I just want to show you. So our red rubber stamps, you will see that they have sponge cushioning in behind them, okay? So that gives you a really nice, good stamped image because you've got that little bit of give. Sometimes if your table is not totally... Um, totally flat. I'm just going to pop um, that question up there. So um, Karen's question was, why do you use the pierce mat? Um, and it's because that has some sponge give and it gives you a really good stamped image. Our photopolymer stamps don't have that. They're just um, the photopolymer and they're on a clear block. So if your, if your table or your craft area is uneven, um, you may always, you may get like spotty stamped images, like it may not stamp in certain places because um, there may be sort of not an even surface that you're stamping on. So hopefully, Karen, that has explained why I used a pierce mat. All right. So we've got that happening. So I'm now going to put this together. All right. So we're going to, with this little one, I'm just going to, trim that because that's just our little sentiment that we're doing so I'm just going to trim that to go on the front I feel like I want to put something just in behind that let's see let's do um what type oh I know what I can do I could probably do let's do a misty moonlight postage stamp behind or do we want to do uh, okay so you need to tell me which color we need to use do we want to use let me see if I can get it out of bumblebee do we want to use a bumblebee one in behind so I want you to vote on this bumblebee or um, do we want to use maybe misty moonlight do I have Misty Moonlight in here? I don't think I do. I'll grab a piece of Misty Moonlight. Okay. So tell me which um, which one we're going to have underneath our sentiment. We'll put it together and we'll see what it looks like. So let's try that one. Or... Cinnamon cider. So um, I can't quite make up my mind. Oh, or I could do petal pink. <laughs> oh dear. The decisions that we need to make. Okay, so let's see. We've got a petal pink. Tell me which one you think. 
so the reason why I'm using all of these, because we, I want to pop that in underneath the sentiment. So do we want to use pet bumblebee? Um, Misty Moonlight? Do we want to use Misty Moonlight? Because remember, we're going to put the ribbon in underneath. Do we want to use Misty Moonlight? Because it's going to go like this. Do we want to use Misty Moonlight? Do we want to use Cinnamon Cider? Although with Cinnamon Cider, we're going to be using these down through here. Misty Moonlight. Everyone's saying Misty Moonlight a second. You like the sound of Misty Moonlight. So we've got that and that. Or Petal Pink. What do you think? Petal Pink. Everyone's going for the Misty Moonlight. That one. Misty Moonlight? Okay. Looks like Misty Moonlight's got the vote. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim a piece of ribbon to go underneath it first. So I'm going to pop that ribbon and cross like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pop a little bit of Seal Plus down for my ribbon. Pop the ribbon on there. And you didn't see me use this retired ribbon, okay? <laughs> no one seen me use it. Close your eyes. You didn't see me use it. Okay, and then we're going to pop on here. Oh, that needs to trim down a bit. It's a little bit too, bit too long. Like that. Well, trimming of that ribbon didn't help while it was on there. My scissors aren't the best this morning. Anyway, there we go. Trimmed that down. Now I'm going to use probably my silicone mat and my glue trick with my sponge for that detailed piece. Um, I could, mm, no, I'm going to use my sponge and that. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit of glue up in the corner, get my sponge on an office clip and just sponge onto the back like that. And then oh, my phone is going off this morning. I have no idea why. Like that. Okay, so we've got that happening. It's okay. I was thinking, is there a reason why people, why my phone's going off? But it's not anything, no one's texting me and it's nothing totally important. I think it's just saying that I've, I've got a delivery out the front. Okay, so we've got that. This is coming together quite nice. I like this. I'm going to pop it over there, I think. I sort of want it underneath. It's over the top, but I feel like I want it. Oh, no, we can pop it up there. Okay. So let's do our sentiment onto there. Thank you kindly. Like that. We're then going to pop that up on dimensionals. Okay. No worries, Karen. Thanks for popping in for a while. Um, Matthew, sorry, the ribbon is um <laughs> oh, easy saying what ribbon being being funny. You didn't see that ribbon, did you, Matthew? It's retired. We can't get it. 
Okay, so I'm going to pop that there. Like that. This one here, I'm going to pop in underneath there, like ah, that. And this one here is going to pop in underneath up. Oh, I think there. Yep, yeah, there. Like that. Oh. I've got glue on my fingers. Ah! Okay. And then we're going to pop that up on dimensionals, of course, because we can. Yes, Kathy, you didn't see the ribbon. <laughs> I'll have to investigate. I, I often say I should have checked out the recipe for this, which I should have, um, to find out exactly what that ribbon is that's under there or whether it's actually, it could even be a piece of designer series paper. I'm actually not sure. It could be a piece of designer series paper and I'm thinking it's ribbon. But anyway, we have we have just improvised. All right. So we're going to pop that there like that. And then they have used the gorgeous brushed metallic adhesive back dots, which I absolutely love these adhesive back dots. And I'm going to use the copper in it because I think it's going to um, tie in a lot more with those uh, there and one maybe just down there. Look at that. How cute is that card using the gorgeous Delicate Dahlias stamp set? So if you purchased the Positive Thoughts bundle, okay, here we go. Let's see. If you purchase the Positive Thoughts bundle, now I need a catalogue to find out how much the Positive Thoughts bundle is worth. And then um, we can see what you can add on to your order to actually I don't think the positive thoughts is a bundle anymore to tell you the truth I'm nearly sure it's not a bundle who knows is it a bundle or isn't it a bundle let's have a look let's check out the dies for a start forever flourishing Where's the nature's thoughts dies? Okay, L M N. Nature's thoughts dies are fifty dollars. Um, positive thoughts stamp set seventy six. Um, positive thoughts stamp set is thirty seven dollars. So we've got eighty seven dollars. So you've just got to spend about another hundred um, to get the delicate dahlias. So 187. Um, so yeah, it's not a bundle, no. But the card is gorgeous. Like, look at that. Isn't that cute? Beautiful card. Well, um, there you have my lockdown crafting for the day. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I really need to go and do some work now. That's that's my issue. <laughs> Um, I, I've been spending a lot of time crafting and doing things like this, but I've still got to do my work. So, um, I figured I'd jump on, have a bit of fun with you guys first and then get into my work. <laughs> so, um, for anyone that is in the Northern Rivers area, please stay safe. Please, um, stay out of harm's way. Uh, I think we should be finding out in about another hour, uh, half an hour or so, whether there's any cases in our area. Um, when Gladys gets on and does her update at 11 a.m. like she does of a morning. I don't know whether I've heard whether anything's been happening since then, but please stay safe wherever you are in the world. Please stay safe from this dreaded COVID. Um, and um, if you have the opportunity, 
Um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally vaccinated, but I'm still freaking out. So that's all I can say. Totally vaccinated and still freaking out. I'm freaking out for my children and my family. Um, it's very scary to think the people that aren't vaccinated, um, this Delta strain is quite scary. So I know, Kathy, I did hear that this morning that you've had more cases there. So please stay safe. Um, yeah, stay out of harm's way. Do the right thing. I just placed my first online shopping, grocery shopping. I've never done it before, but I just placed my first online grocery shopping order. And you know what? I'm starting to think I might actually like this online shopping, not having to go to the supermarket. The only thing I don't like is the fact that you've got to pay for bags that they're going to pack it all in, um, which it would have been nice to, um, to not have to do that. But, you know. Um, at least I'm staying safe and I'm not getting out in the public. Now I need to go and see what's in that parcel that's just been delivered on my front doorstep because I think it's a special gift from Stampin' Up. So um, I can't share. Um, if it is a gift from Stampin' Up, I can't share until um, all others have received theirs because I don't want to wreck the surprise because there's nothing worse. So um yeah, I know Deborah's saying um, get vaccinated people. It is coming back strong and, yeah, and she works in the hospital. I know, I know. So please, everyone, stay safe and I will catch you all next time.